hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to solve this interesting exponential math problem now to solve this question properly first we will write solution and then we will rewrite this question in the solution again and we will try to solve it step by step so the question is x raised to power 3 is equal to 333 raised to power 3 plus 444 raised to power 3 plus 555 raised to power 3. Now to solve this question, first of all, we will try to factorize all of these three bases. So we can write these bases as we will write x cube as the same is equal to and here we can write 333 as 111 times 3 which gives him 333 the power will be the same plus and same we will do with these two bases so we can write 444 as 111 times 4 the power will be the same plus we can write 500 55 is 111 times 5 or raised to power 3. Now here all of these terms we will use a famous exponential math property power to a product rule. So that property is a times b or raised to power n can also be written as a raised to power n the power will be applied on both the bases times b raised to power n so by using this product to power formula in these terms this equation will become x raised to power 3 is equal to here we will take this power on both the bases so it will become 111 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 3 plus and same we will do with these two terms so it will become 111 raised to the power 3 times 4 raised to power 3 plus 111 raised to power 3 times 5 raised to power 3 no my dears look it to all the terms in the right hand side all the terms has this number common so here in the next step we will take 111 raised to power 3 common so this equation will become x raised to power 3 is equal to taking 111 raised to power 3 common so here only 3 raised to power 3 will be left and here 4 raised to power 3 will be left plus and here only 5 raised to power 3 will be left here now in the next step we will simplify these bases inside the parenthesis so this equation will become x raised to power 3 is equal to 111 raised to power 3 times so 3 raised to power 3 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 plus 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64 plus 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is 125. In the next step we will add these three numbers. So this equation will become x raised to power 3 is equal to 111 raised to power 3 times here. 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16, so 6, 1 will be carried to the next number, so 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, 1, 1 will be carried to the next number, so 1 plus 1 is 2, so by adding these three numbers gives him 216, now in the next step we will change this 216 to the power or exponential form. So we can write 216 as 
111 raised to power 3 times we can write this as 6 raised to power 3 because by multiplying 6 3 times we will get 216 now my dears look it to the right hand side of this equation both the bases has the same power so here we will use the above exponential math property this one when the powers are same so we will take the power common and we will multiply the bases so same we will do here we will take the power common and we will multiply the bases with each other so this equation will become x raised to power 3 is equal to here we will multiply the bases with each other 111 times 6 and we will take the power out so further simplify the right hand side of this equation 1 times 6 is 6 1 times 6 is 6 and 1 times 6 is 6 whole power is 3 now since we need to find the value of x so here we will try to eliminate this 3 from here so to eliminate this 3 there are two possibilities one is to take cube root on both sides and the second is to take 1 over 3 in the power on both sides so let us take 1 over 3 in the power on both sides to eliminate both the powers so this will become x raised to power 3 or raised to power 1 over 3 is equal to 666 raised to power 3 or raised to power 1 over 3 now here we will use an exponential math property and we will multiply both the powers with each other so it will become x raised to power 3 times 1 over 3 and in the right hand side 666 raised to power 3 times 1 over 3 so here the powers will be cancelled with each other so here in the left hand side only x is left is equal to and here only 666 is left so finally x is equal to 666 is the answer and solution of this interesting exponential math problem and last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye